15 university episodes and I've never had one day of bad weather. I think today might be the first day. I'm not going anywhere right now. I'm, I'm getting wet. The Chick-fil-A is always the most popular spot, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I mean... I, I've been to so many campuses now. Anytime there's a Chick-fil-A, it's the number one destination on campus. West Virginia University is located in Morgantown, West Virginia. And we're in the country, people. I mean, we're up in the mountains. This is the Appalachia Mountain Range. So everywhere you go, you're basically always on a hill. You're always kind of at an angle. <laughs> if you love nature, this is a university you absolutely have to check out. I mean, just look around you. There's more green than there is concrete. There's forests, rivers, you know? It's just nothing but nature around here. So if that's the kind of environment that you're looking for, I think you're going to love West Virginia University. Gary was nice enough to drive me all the way to the downtown campus so that I could start checking things out. And I'm glad he did because honestly getting around here is a little bit difficult. As you can see, I'm already running across the street. There's a lot of traffic here in Morgantown because it's a hilly city with lots of twists and turns. It's not very easy for you to drive a car around here, which is why the university has invested in a public transportation system called the PRT way better than this. We're going to talk to Gary Laruda about some of the different programs and what you can do to become a mountaineer. My name is uh, Gary Laruda. I'm an international admissions counselor here for West Virginia University. So we are located right now at the uh, Woodburn Circle, home of Woodburn Hall, one of our most uh, historic and iconic buildings. Our visitors and our students also find themselves trying to come here just to take that uh, picture, that poster picture basically, majors. WBU offers 355 different majors. Programs that tend to be more popular among international students, engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, aerospace, mining, due to the prestige and the resources that we have here for those particular programs. When it comes to engineering at West Virginia University, what I think of is what I think most people think of with this state, which is energy, coal, gas, petroleum. This is a state that is long known for its history with mining coal and generating electricity. And so the university is no different. And while you might think that like, you know, coal is kind of old fashioned, there's a lot of research here going on into making it cleaner and more sustainable because developing nations are going to continue to rely on fossil fuels for their growth. And so we can either help them do it cleanly or we can continue to destroy the planet. So there are a ton of great programs here for anything like related to mining and engineering or energy production and engineering. If you've got an interest in mining and specifically, you're gonna be right at home here. Morgantown, because of the geography with the mountains, it's not exactly easy to just put row after row after row of university buildings. So they've split the campus up into a few different mini campuses. This is actually the first university that I've been to that has its own public transportation system. Like they have these little cars that ride on these rails. And I want to show you what it looks like.
Now, the engineering programs here are great, but there's one program in particular that West Virginia University is extremely proud of. That's their forensic sciences program. If you're interested in getting into the field of forensics, you probably can't find a better place on earth because the FBI teamed up with WVU. It is a one of a kind crime lab center where you get hands on experience in person with cases that simulate what you're going to do on the job. Oh no, it's going to start raining. There's the rain. I guess we can start heading this way though. It is pouring rain right now, as you can see, and it's also pouring scholarships at West Virginia University. Now, this is a public institution, which means that international students cannot get need-based financial aid, and most people, you said it, man. <laughs> Yo, it's coming down hard. I had to get out of here with this thing. Yeah, dude. Yeah. So since there's no need-based financial aid for international students, the university has created a few amazing scholarships specifically for the international community to help you find a way to pay for this excellent education. Gary's office actually has two scholarships that they're offering to international students and I'm going to let him tell you more about those and how much they're worth. One is our merit-based Office of Global Affairs. Uh, scholarship, you would have to go through an application process for this one, up to $8,000 a year. We actually have also created a scholarship for uh, students through the You Are Welcome Here program here at WVU. That one is for $15,000 a year. We offer institutional scholarships as soon as we have your GPA. We immediately start assessing you for scholarships, institutional scholarships, or up to $16,000. If you don't take the SAT, up to $12,000 a year in scholarships. Now, WBU as a whole may offer you an institutional scholarship, and then the program that you apply to might also be able to consider you for additional scholarships. The earlier you start the application process, the earlier you can be admitted, the earlier you can be considered for these additional scholarships. If you apply too late, those resources might have been exhausted by then. So very important to apply early. When you add those scholarships to the merit-based scholarships that you can get here, you could get full tuition covered by the university. And then all you gotta do is pay your living expenses, which makes West Virginia University one of the most affordable options for international students in the United States. I'm, I'm getting wet just sitting here. I've been getting a lot of very friendly vibes from everybody here. Like people here just seem to be looking to have a good time and have fun. People are telling me about all the student organizations that they join and it just seems like a really fun place to be. This is a town that has a bit of a reputation for being a party town and you can kind of see why. I mean, it's West Virginia, it's wild and wonderful and people live up to that. WBU right now has over 470 different student organizations. There is a Latin American student organization, there's an African student organization, lacrosse club for example, or a soccer club, indoor soccer club. The weather is also wild and wonderful, man. This has actually never happened to me before. I've, I've never been rained out on a shooting day, but first time for everything, right? I was about to start walking back to my car. Don't know if that's happening. Yeah, good luck out there, man. Yeah, I'm running away. <laughs> One hour later. So, if you're interested in the scholarships, you like the programs here, and you want to become a mountaineer, here's what you got to do. If you may have any questions for me or my office, again, my name is Gary Laruda. You can contact me at my email, which uh, can be... Yeah. We can always coordinate a Zoom meeting with students, parents, or counselors uh, to answer your questions in more detail. It has been an awesome day at West Virginia University. I want to give a big shout out to Gary LaRuda for showing me around, taking me downtown today, and just making it really easy for me to get to know this university. Honestly, if you're looking for a university that's not in a big urban environment, a place where you can go outdoors and enjoy nature, and one that has really high-end programs and modern facilities at an incredibly good price, West Virginia University is a place you should consider and I honestly had no idea that I would say that by the end of this video but genuinely speaking completely changed my perceptions of West Virginia and the state. I love me some Morgantown, I love me some WVU and now it's raining on me again and I need to get out of here. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next week.